This is Chris Kell with your Peak Fitness Bodyweight Sculpting Solution. Now this is a new feature that we've created for the, all of those individuals who don't have access to dumbbells, uh, kettlebells, all the tools of the trade that we use here at Peak Fitness, but still want to get a shapely body and kind of incorporate these exercises that we utilize in our fitness plans. Now with that said, this week's uh, segment focuses on improving the hips. More specifically, the side of the hips, or what we call the gluteus medius, and the hip extension, what we call the gluteus maximus, or the butt. But that said, one of my favorite tools for doing so is a mini band. All right, you're looking at about a $2 investment with a mini band, but this is a very versatile piece of equipment um, that can either be ordered through Peak Fitness or you know, just um, from a website we like called performbetter.com. Now the mini band comes in various strengths, starting with green, um, which is sort of the entry level, uh, or entry level um, I guess, bands here, we go all the way up to black, which is, um, you know, characteristically very, uh, very tough. So, with that said, in our first segment, I'm going to show you five of my favorite mini band exercises for toning the side of the hips and how we can, can progress these without ever having to touch a weight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just demonstrate kind of the five go-to exercises that we utilize with our mini band for the hips. All right, so our first exercise, I'm just going to place the band here around my feet. We've just got monster walks forward and back. So, what I'm going to do, spread my feet shoulder width apart. I want to keep tension. Uh, I, I want to keep my legs spread apart so there's tension here. And I'm walking anywhere from 12 to 20 steps down and 12 to 20 steps back. All right, now with this, I'm trying to take short, choppy steps. I'm not using my body. I'm just trying to move from my hips only and keeping my abs tight. All right, our next exercise would be a mini band sidewalk. And with this, what I'm doing is I'm just, again, taking big steps to the side, keeping my abs tight, not swaying the body, just moving to one side, moving to the other side, keeping kind of nice distance here, keeping tension here in my hips, all right? Our third exercise is a mini band lateral squat, all right? With this, I'm holding on to just something for support. I'm coming down into a squat, I'm shifting the weight of the outside of my uh, heel here, and I'm kicking the band out to provide some resistance. And again, I'm performing anywhere from 12 to 20 reps on one side. I'm going to move to the other side. All right, for our next exercise, we have mini band side kicks. Okay, so again, same thing. I'm just standing here and I'm just kicking to the side 12 to 20 times. For our final exercise, we have mini band jacks, which is just quick kind of movements this way, keeping tension here in the bands. Now, with this, we, the way we begin this, these exercises, we perform. Uh, anywhere from 12 to 20 reps. Starting with 12 reps, add 2 to 4 reps per week until you get to 20 reps. Once we can do one of these exercises with pretty good form, you know, we're not feeling as much, uh, we're not getting as much development as we were, what we can do is simply complex the movements together, meaning we would include one with the other. So I might do 12 side steps down, 12 side steps back, and end with mini band jacks. Or I could do a lateral squat followed by lateral side kicks. All right, we can go all the way up to a three to five exercise circuit and really burn the side of the hips. And really, when we take into account that we can move up to the black after this, you know, we have an almost unlimited way to strengthen these muscles without ever having to touch a weight.